today we are going to solve a question that is from gate 2023 question number 39 and it's a part of atomic physics okay so in that question we have to match the option so there is a given you have a visible light and this thing i used to teach to student and i have to tell it's a very important for physics point of view that interaction of em radiation with matter how it will behave that's a very important part in interview point of view also so you have a visible light you have a visible light okay better i'll like i'll take more space so i can start frame so. You have a visible light and then on the left hand side you have a x-ray then you have a gamma ray and then you have a thermal neutron thermal neutron so uh, on the left hand side, on the right hand side you have a P and that is given transition between four level of atom. Transition between core level of atoms. Q is given transition between between nuclear energy level energy levels. Then C is given sorry R is given pair products R is given pair production S is given crystal structure crystal structure determination And T is given photoelectric effect. Photoelectric effect. Okay. So to understand this phenomena, we must need to know, we must need to know the energy range values of this, uh, of different part of EM radiation. And of course, the of course the thermal uh, energy of thermal neutron. Also. Okay, so if you know that energy range of visible light, that energy is only within one point seven to three point two electron volt. Energy of X ray is around hundred eV to hundred. KEV. Energy of gamma ray that is more than 100 KEV. And thermal neutron, the energy of this uh, this new thermal neutron is few EV. And if we know that to perform that photoelectric effect we need that energy around on electron volt. We need energy an around on electron volt and that is available with visible light. So visible light can do that photoelectric effect. However, it cannot do that uh, crystal structure measurement. For that we need the energy value much higher than the energy available with visible light. 
and same is true for paired production also paired production for paired production at least we need energy that is more than 1.02 mega electron volt and same is true for here also we cannot do that uh, this transition between nuclear level for that we need energy that is of the order of mega electron volt mega electron volt but only available energy for visible light is this much so it cannot do the transition it cannot do pair production it cannot do crystal structure moreover it cannot do this process also inner level transition that visible light can do electronic transition for outer cell it cannot do inner cell just if I take that simple example of hydrogen atom, for hydrogen atom, you have an inner cell like n equals to 1 and n equals to 2. To make the transition from 1 to 2, for this transition, for simplest case, hydrogen atom, lighter element, at least we need energy for n equals to 1 to n equals to 2, that is 10.4, something like that. I mean, more than 10 electron volt, what I am trying to see here trying to say here. What I am trying to say, we have a simplest case like hydrogen atom. For this inner core transition or transition between core levels that is more than 10 electron volt. And if you take higher element, that energy will be much larger than this. And you have available energy is this much. So this energy, this energy cannot do transition between core levels of atoms. It cannot do transition between Nuclear energy level cannot do pair production, crystal structure determination, only it can do photoelectric effect. So, on will be matching with T. Now, X ray. So, as you know, X ray can do crystal structure measurement. That's perfectly fine. So, it has energy value that is higher. So, it can also do that photoelectric effect also. It can do that photoelectric effect also because for that we already we only only need energy value that is electron volt order and it has sufficient energy. It has sufficient energy, so X-ray can do photoelectric effect also because for photoelectric effect only we need energy that is around one or two electron volt. So it can do that also. So it can do crystal structure measurement. Can do photoelectric. It cannot do pair production because it has energy values that is on to, sorry, 100 to 100, 100 electron volt to 100 kilo electron volt. But for pair production, we need this much energy, mega electron volt. It cannot do that. And same is true here also. It cannot do transition between nuclear energy level because here also we need energy values that will be of the order of mega electron volt. But for heavy element, for heavy element, the transition between core level, to make the transition between core level for heavy element, we need energy values that will be in this range. For heavy element, to make that inner core transition between level, atomic level, we need this energy. And that is possible from x -ray. So, X-ray can do photoelectric effect. It can do crystal structure measurement. It can also do the transition between core level of atoms, especially if you go to some heavy element. Okay. So, if I see that two, X-ray can do atomic transition. It can do crystal structure measurement. And also it can do photoelectric effect. Now gamma ray. Gamma ray can do pair production and we know this transition between nuclear energy level. So these are the possible case that uh, that gamma ray can finally do that. Transition between nuclear energy level and pair production that uh, that is actually main work of gamma ray. So that I can see that 3 is actually matching with Q and R. Q and R. And lastly, you have a thermal neutron. The wavelength of thermal neutron is exactly matching with 
the atomic spacing. The wavelength of thermal neutron is exactly matching with atomic spacing. So this thermal neutron can do the crystal structure measurement. So, visible light can do photoelectric effect, X-ray can do photoelectric effect, crystal structure determination, transition between cold levels, gamma ray can do pair production, transition between nuclear energy levels, and thermal neutron can do crystal structure measurement. So, according to given option, option A will be correct. Okay, thank you.